Good day everyone, if you are new in my channel please don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button and the notification bell of this lesson, you will be able to identify the type of orchard farm, trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on location, climate and market demands, proper way of planting, propagating trees and fruit bearing trees, sources of fruit bickering trees, how to care seedlings, an orchard is an area of land where fruits or nut trees are grown and maintained for food or commercial production. It is also known as a fruit farm which can have fruits trees of any kind such as mango, papaya, orange, duhat, and other. Type of farm Fruit orchard Growing trees bearing fruits These include facilities that concentrates on citrus tree like lemons, limes, or orange that are grown all together in large citrus orchards or even grown individually in smaller facilities. However, fruits not grown on trees or plantations that grow fruit-bearing bushes don't fall under this category. Nut orchard. Nut, or nut orchard are large variety of facilities which produce nut-bearing trees. These include the orchards that grow nuts such as walnuts, almonds and cashews. Cocoa and chocolate producing nuts and even coconuts also include in this category. In addition, there are orchard owners who produce pine trees for edible pine nuts. Seed Orchards Seed orchards primarily concentrate on growing trees that produce seeds. Then, the seeds are sold to commercial distribution for resale on small seed packets. These may also be used for food production or even sold to large agriculture facilities. Seed orchards fall under the categories of seedlings orchard and clonal seed orchard, depending on how they are established. Trees are selected through controlled pollination in seedling orchard while seeds are distributed through cuttings and tissue culture methods in a clonal seed orchard which results in an easier harvest overall. Home or Backyard Orchard Home, or Home orchards refer to small gardens which need grafted trees that are also appropriately small in size to fit in the location. Factor to consider in choosing fruit trees for your orchard. Fruit trees that suit your location. Choose the trees according to your own needs or demands in the market. Take into consideration how much effort you will exert. Plant only the right fruits. Plant in the best time possible. Give consideration to the clinate in your area. Choose the sunniest planting location to assure a healthiest and testiest fruit. Trees suited for orchard gardening are based on the following, location. The following plants are suited in the following location. Hillside. Slope. Valley. Valley. Climate. The following plants are best suited in the following climate. Elevated Low or warm Dry season Dry season Wet season And The following fruits are available for the whole year The following fruits are the seasonal fruits in the country. Proper way of planting and propagating trees and fruit bearing trees. In the field of agriculture, modern technology and research have gone a long way. There are agricultural products in the present time that never exist in the past. Some of which to mention are seedless watermelons, oranges and grapes. There are also variety of plants with different colors of leaves and flowers that come from only one plant. Fruit bearing trees area LSO able to bear fruits within a short span of time and some bear fruits all year round. All these advancement become possible through an agricultural technology called plant propagation. Plant propagation is a method of reproduction, increase or multiplication of plant species. The reason why it is being practiced are the following. To avoid extinction of plant species. 
to have new and better varieties of plants suited to soil and climate condition. To produce plant varieties resistant to pest and diseases. To accelerate and lessen the bearing age of plant at the same time. To increase the number of plant species. Proper way of propagating fruit bearing trees. Cuttings. In this propagation method, the leaves are removed and the stem are cut to 10 inches long, and then, one half of the cuttings is inserted into the soil. Marcotting. This includes the stem to develop roots while still growing on the mother plant. The following are the steps on how to do this. Mga kagamitang ating gagamitin. Tie. Cutter, scissor, or grafting knife. Cellophane. Water. Spagnum moss. Kung maaari tayong gumamit ng coconut husk. At kung wala, maaari po tayong gumamit ng For our demonstration po, tayo ay gumamit ng papwa para i-mark on. So, ang first step po is babantan natin ang ating halaman gamit ang ating cutter or knife. Usually po, natin ang cellophane. So, ang teknik na ginagawa ko po sa paglalagay ng cellophane ay pabaliktad po. natin ng butas ang cellophane para hindi po mastak ang mga sobrang tubig 
Grafting. This is plant propagation method that involves inserting a scion into a stock to form a union and grow together. Ugambilia grafting. Mga kagamitang gagamitin. Pruning shear. Grafting tip o kung wala namang grafting tip ay maaaring gumamit ng selfie. Supot ng yelo o anumang selfie na maaaring gamitin pantakip. At cutter. Mga pamamaraan ng paggawa. Una ay linisin ang rootstock sa pamamagitan ng pag-alis ng mga maliliit na sanga na maaaring makaagaw ng sanga na ating igagrap sa nutrients mula sa lupa. Ang mga sangang maaari lang natin gamitin sa paggawa ng bukambilya grafting ay ang mga sangang hindi gaano malaki o maliit, hindi gaano matanda o bata. Gamit ang pruning shear, gupitin ang sangang ating pagdudutungan ng sayon. Gamit ang cutter, gumawa ng split sa gitna sa pagdudutungan ng sayon. Gamit ang cutter, tulisan ang dulo ng sayon na ating idudugtong. Siguraduhin may buko na ang sayon na ating idudugtong. At tama ang orientation na paglalagay natin ng sayon sa rootstock. Tandaan na nasa taas ng buko ng bugambilya ang kanyang pinit. Ilagay ang sayon sa rootstock at talian ito ng grafting tip o cellophane. Takpan ito ng cellophane at talian. Pagkatapos igrap ay ilagay sa lugar na hindi gaano naiinitan ng sikat ng araw.
Sexes of Fruit-Bearing Trees The following are fruits bearing trees propagated by the sexual method of planting or by using seeds. The following are fruit bearing trees propagated asexually or by artificial methods. Taking care of fruit trees seedlings. Ways to keep the plant healthy. Water the plants in the early morning and in the late afternoon. Apply organic fertilizer in the soil. Cultivate the soil around the plants. Examine the pests or insects. Pull out weeds or grass around the plants so they cannot compete the nutrients intended only to plants. Remove the dried and infected leaves. Keep on monitoring the growth of plants. And that conclude our lesson for today. Thank you and keep safe always.